50 pounds on the BCT. I'm headed uh, from the motel to the bus stop. It makes uh, picks up at the Hatchapi. Takes you right to the where the trail crosses the highway. So I'm headed that way now. Be there shortly. And uh, it's uh, nine o'clock at breakfast at the motel. I got uh, about, I don't know, a good number of miles before my first water. So I'm loaded up heavy with water. And I know it's straight up on the, on the trailhead. It had to be a lot of fires south of here, which is a long time before I come back here and finish up the south part. But still, there's a new fire recently, and it's headed to Wrightwood, which is one of the places to get off south resupply places uh, they're really struggling today you know, I saw on the news this morning it's not, it's not good um, anyway I'm here ready to, ready to go this is a little bus stop I think it cost two dollars it cost me five dollars yesterday for the ride from Bakersfield to here which that's pretty good for public transit all right, I'll be at the trail soon, finally, after three days of not hiking. I'm ready to go. All right, bye. Next stop, trailhead. off out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you gotta find a trail. I think it's across this bridge. I see a PCT sign. All right, something I know. Uh, this is a little different. Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. 69 degrees right now. A little, a lot of wind. Places. Oh wow, the trail's gonna go way down along the interstate. I went through a gate and registered again. Not many hikers through here. Maybe I'll run into some uh, southbounders now since I flipped up way ahead of them. Since I'm a nobo now. And this trail goes over a mile along this highway along here and then it's gonna turn and go up in the mountains. Like West Texas, somewhat, looks like, except bigger mountains. There's just some pretty deep canyons in West Texas. My first time to California.
gotta change my mindset through this section instead of looking for bears I gotta watch the rattlesnakes and I gotta pay attention to the heat watch my water Okay, remember all those uh, windmills, those power mills that I was looking up at? Yeah, I'm above them now. I've been climbing, climbing. Still got a ways up to go. And the road that I hiked in on, that's the road that's way off from where I hiked in. The road is below me. That's where it continues on through goes to the valley of the mountain, it goes to that town, I can't know what to mean the next town is. But, and also, if you can see those big mountains over there, that's south, that's going to be some I'm going this way though. There's some kind of little oak trees with acorns on them. They are very scratchy. I've never seen these before in my life. You know what acorn they got on? They're everywhere since I came over the last climb. I got up about 2,500 feet and about, oh, less than seven miles out of Tehachapi. And then now I'm started down and on the other side of these bushes everywhere. So, uh, I can't remember her name. I saw, I saw, I met her in the first two weeks of my through hike. <laughs> She's a northbounder. She's uh, skipped a good bit for fire, she said. She's all the way here and she's done too. She's with the fires south of here. There's several fires and they shut down the trails and you gotta get 
figure out ways to get around it and all that. She said she's had enough. She got sick too, back where I'm gonna stop in about four or five days. Well, it's 6 p.m. I just had the first, good gracious, the huge acorns on these trees. Um, 6 p.m. I had my first water source of the day. <laughs> I, you know, I started late though. I mean, so I only got, I'm under 20 miles. I'm under 17 actually. Excuse us getting anywhere around the trees and mosquitoes get bad uh, I had to put a head net on it one time so anyway so I have five liters which is heavy plus the full resupply minus my lunch today well I have got a 20 mile carry tomorrow, 20 mile between water sources. Well, 20 miles from that water source to the next water source. <sighs> kind of pushing it. I'm going to get over four more miles before I set camp at campsite. So that'll only give me 16 tomorrow. <laughs> Shoot the mosquito. <clears throat> oh man, that hurt. <clears throat> Hit me in the back of the throat. Choked me. Sorry. Ooh. Right below these wind turbines. And they are loud. <clears throat> I've just been hiking down a long line of them. And they are loud. They're on top of the mountain. <coughs> These things are everywhere. And the trail just wraps all around them. They're loud. I didn't realize they were so loud. Now I feel like I'm in some kind of western. Subtract those those uh, wind turbines. This is some country that's different from my eyes. Woo! It's cooled off a lot. I was surprised how how fast the temperatures started dropping in these shady areas. A minute ago, I checked it and it was down to 64. And it hit, it was in the 80s at one time today. It's dropping fast. I'm, you know, I'm up 6,000 elevation. I made a big climb to start the day, so that's helping me cool off fast too. Above 6,000. 
back in that sunshine though. Well, I made 21 miles today. I don't remember what time it was when I started. It wasn't, I didn't get bus till 9.20, so I'm happy with 21. And I got plenty of water. I got 16 to go to the next water source and I got plenty of water, so. I uh, had to set up in the dark and that is not ideally what I like to do. I like to be set up before dark. Uh, at least I got to 21 though, huh? All right, I'm cooking supper. There's my tent. It's uh, set up. We've got a nice moon tonight. About a, oh, about a half, a little more than a half probably. Uh, and I'll probably get going fairly early in the morning. This is my plan. All right, 21 miles. Day one, no bow. <laughs> Uh, this is day 55, so um, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with the mileage, but we'll figure it out as we go. Good night, everybody.